Hello, hello, and welcome back to Wandering Lost Games. We are once again continuing on with Game of Thrones. And hopefully our quality has improved a bit, so let's continue. Ethan, as I was saying, change the settings. There we go. Sorry about that. You are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But. Three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that. Like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Hmm. I was gonna say, yeah, it's gonna it be between be Kramer, son of a whore. my good and my bad. Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! As they pretty much do the, the angel and I've devil. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! <laughs> Lord Ethan! Miss. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I'd no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Take his fingers! He's a thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It would be an injustice, my lord. Promise, dude. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. Oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! <clears throat> I don't know if that's the best choice. 
I didn't really want to take his fingers, because then he's kind of useless. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Do this thing. All the way just to look at him. Pretty sure I just clicked look at. Him. Yep, I had to get up and this person to look at him. Okay, so apparently I could enter the town. Guards up! There. You can lift them, yeah? Yeah, where I came from. I can survey all that I am lord over. My tiny little hamlet. Are you holding a sword? That's good. Nothing I'm watching. The dog's wanting some peanut butter. Let's go look at this food that supposedly I don't have very much of. Now that I can see that there is three pigs hanging there. Slash and parry! Slash and parry! Again! Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. Like two weeks? But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Seems legit. So if I talk to him, does he have anything else? Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Sure. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, I'm not sure who yet. do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. 
Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. Really? I'm at your service, I appreciate the advice of that I must give soon. Well, that didn't tell me anything. I guess I should have actually asked him about stuff instead of just, I was not sure. I was kind of hoping that there would be a general Come comment. On, you dogs. You'll not be fighting here forever. All right. Look at you, Malcolm. Good work, man. Good work. I approve. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. <laughs> wall's not even much mercy. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be my gentle. Mom. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. See? You were the Even Lord of agree. this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Cool. Alright, so theoretically, yeah, she could talk Do to you. Do it like you mean it. Talk to you. Pretty sure I know what it looks like. Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. The word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. 
But I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. All right, so I've talked to everybody. I'm actually leaning towards Sir Royland, and the reason why is because me as a person, I'm a generally nice-hearted person. Now, when I say so I'm party, going to be inclined to want out. to do merciful stuff. Um, and Duncan would be very similar to me, I think, which I don't think would necessarily help. I think I almost want Sir Royland, who would be more inclined to do what's needed to be done, even if I'm not necessarily willing to do that myself. So it's kind of a yin and yang, right? Where you need somebody else who, to a degree, compliments you, but also at the same time um, can kind of make up for your for what you are lacking, um, make right. up for what you need. That means now. So, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. All right, let's do this thing. And hopefully my choice works out for me. And we do know that Ramsay Snow is not going to be listening to any sort of negotiations, so hopefully Sir Royland will help me out there as well. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but How it's come true. On, man. You at least be humble about it. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither That's not exactly I. what I meant. But... The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! God, 
I think I have a time limit on this one. Um, bargain or fight? I don't really want to do diplomacy. Bargaining would probably be good, but he also wants to fight. Um. My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Jeez, Ramsay I Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. Oh God, no another decision. Um. Well, he's probably not gonna like either choice. But if he just waltzes in, that seems to really just be accepting the madman. So. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. I'd hoped to better from you, my lord. Well, we've lost Duncan. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own Thanks, battles. But when Asher saw it... He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to Sweet. know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. That really just sounds like um, he's supposed to help. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I thought he was pretty much already going. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. I mean... You are a forester, 
Mira stands with us, wiser. and she you may be able to help my us. My mother yet. have been around for much longer, and also saw my uh, father do all this stuff. I totally did not break the game. I might have slightly, just minorly broke the game just a little bit, and I'll have to fix that. But there you go. That's it for this episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. You can also leave me any comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe. I will maybe stop breaking things. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you later. Right?